Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the Reaper Militia Sidetrack Show. Oh man, guys, check that out, check that out, check that out. My first. Very pretty. Looks classy. She's probably sassy. Bench made bushcrafter. Oh man. Oh man, I'm telling you. Um, wow, as of a first impression at the moment. Oh, and by the way, I am freezing out here. It is like 13 or 12 minus degrees or whatever. Not minus, but it's like 12 degrees. Very cold. But this is for the viewers and my subscribers. Check this out. My first bench made true full tang knife. Solid, functional, well balanced. Features premium blade steel. Handle is a hand blended and contoured green G10 handle with red vulcanized spacers held together with pressed titanium tubing. You get a high ground drop point blade with a polished finish made from S30V stainless steel. 5860 HRC sheath is a brushed full grain buckskin leather with a D ring with no dangler strap sucks but oh well flint rod loop and a retention strap blade length is 4.3 inches blade thickness is 0 0.164 handle thickness is 0 0.920 weight is the 7.7 .7 ounces Overall length is 9.20 inches. Whatever. 9 inches. Bam. Whew. Here's your sheath. Very pretty. Very nice. I'd have to say it's probably quickly put together. You can see some string here. You get your fail rod loop, loop there. It's pretty big. Um, I took mine out. Mine's kind of. See anybody it fits? Doesn't fall out. So that is your D ring. Nice size belt loop. I've been wearing it for the past couple days. There's your bench made album. Real nice. Oh. Bevels on. Dead straight. Beautiful. Is your titanium pins tubing? Is your ball vulcanized, like maroonish redder liners? I love this green. It's mainly why I was I got it in the handle shape. Look at that. I mean that swell right here I have large hands large glove and it feels I mean it just feels right and this right here I like that how my pinky feels it tucks in there and I have this this stoppage right here you have your lan lanyard hole there's the album again oh man my first my first bench made I don't even want to tell you guys what I paid for it because I bought it at a, a local hunting store here. Oh, man. But I didn't care. I just seen it. And I've been saving for a bench made. Making my decision on where I'm going to go. 
Okay, I'm already five minutes in, guys. Let's see what this thing will do. How she reacts for my first impression. It is freezing out here. So put that in fact, too. And put the fact that, you know, I don't know how good of a company this is, so hopefully nothing happens. Pray to the gods for me. Here we go. I don't know why, but I feel bad using it. Is that bad? I feel, I feel bad. Oh man. I figured I'd get some nice new warmer insulated uh, gloves from Home Depot. Man, these are warm. Just for this, just for this video guys, so you can see how nice it looks with a nice little, maybe if you go out shopping for some new guns or hunting gear. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay. This is some dry wood that I had in the house. This is probably gonna blow right through this. Oh, oh. Yeah. So if you got some dry wood, <clears throat> uh, this will definitely blow through it. Like nothing. Let's try some uh, outside cold stuff. It's been outside for a while. This is frozen. Oh yeah. Nice. This is the bush crafter, so right there, all the bush crafters, this is what they do. Uh, that's pretty good. I don't want to hit my handles. Oh man. This is all knotted up and whatnot, but it's dead, but. I'm afraid to hit my hand. Oh man, oh that hurts. Oh. oh man, that hurt my feelings. Oh, that hurts my feelings. Woo, look at that edge. She is doing good. Just fine tip is fine still straight where are we at eight minutes yeah she's still good and I didn't get the handles either gotta be careful real pretty nice <laughs> let's see here There's a the line I made. I mean, this thing feels awesome in my hand, even with gloves on. See, it, you know, seems real sharp. She's biting in real good. I don't even know if I was getting that in camera. Sorry about that, guys. There's a notch, though. That just my new Benchmade Bushcrafter just made. Beautiful, happy, happy, happy right now. Uh,
Hope you guys see that. How many minutes am I at? 10 minutes? Oh, sorry, sorry. It really lets you get a good grip for that swell down here. Sorry about the sirens. I live in the city. Now this steel is supposed to hold a wicked good edge from what, uh, what the studies that I've been doing on this knife because I've been making this decision for a long time now. Been checking out Benchmade, seeing if I want to get a folder or if I just want to get a full tang, a true full tang, as we all juggle knives would say. Hopefully he appreciates this video. Beautiful knife. For all the knife lovers, my viewers. Still sharp. Still bites in. <clears throat> this is some hard wood. You know? Look at that. That edge is perfect. Hopefully you can see it. Nothing wrong. Oh, my feelings. I feel so bad doing this to this knife. Uh, no. There you go, guys. Bench made. I paid $215. Do I think it's worth it? As of right now, yes. Yes, I, uh, look at that. Tip is fine. I was just stabbing the hell out of that. Still straight, dead straight. That is good. Beautiful. This is for me and you guys, Benchmade. First one. Sweet. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks, to all the subscribers, viewers. Appreciate it. Much respect, much appreciation. Hope I can load, load this. I'm at 1430.